from the previous video, we've seen that the render component needs to access its containing entities positional information. We'll see that all components need to access the parent entity quite often. That's that's how the components interact. So what I'm going to do is come up to component H and say class entity. And then down in here, I'm going to say entity parent entity. Well, let's just call it parent. I don't know, I hate to use the word parent because sometimes parent makes me feel like parent class, where this is like the con containing entity or the entity that contains the component. But anyway, we'll just go with, with that. It needs to be a pointer, however. Then I'm also going to say friend class entity so that the entity class can set this pointer. Now, if you choke on the word friend, you need to see my previous videos where I talk about how friend classes actually help encapsulation, not hinder it. So every component needs to know who its parent entity is, and I think the best place to set that would be in the add component function here. So let's do component uh, parent, I call it parent, I call it parent, gets this. Okay, I am your parent. Right, and that sort of thing. So now that we have that in there, oh, what's it complaining about? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Entity, let me scroll out here. Entity, and here we said class component, which is fine. We're just using component pointers in here. But then finally in the compilation unit, we're trying to do something non-pointer-ish. We're trying to actually say, hey, I want to access the parent. And it's like, I don't know if, if component has parent. All I know about component is that component is a class. So let's pound include uh, entities, component h, which brings in the header information for component. And now it can see that a component has a parent, and a parent is an entity class. Now we can go back to render component. And all I need to say here in the update is renderable where, and we're going to have to pound include. Pound include, and thank you for dying on me until I sense it, to entities slash, or not entities, it's rendering slash renderable, if I remember right. We'll have the compiler tell us later, and then, and then th we also need the translate, don't we? I need pound include math. Is it uppercase math? It doesn't really matter, but but uh, I like to be consistent. Math slash matrix matrix two d h two d h dot h like so. So renderable where gets uh, math colon colon matrix two matrix to the H uh, translate we want to translate to our parent uh, position okay hopefully you're seeing seeing hey okay I can see how the components can interact here a little bit we say hey parent what's your position I'm going to use that to put the renderables where at the right location Okay, uh, and then we need to actually invoke this update at some point. So let's go to our game, my game, not CPP, and I believe we already had an update function. Yep, right here. And so before we say render, render scene, I want to say ship dot update. But we did not add an update function to the entity class. So Let's go do that. The entity class, we say, hey, entity update, and all the entity update's going to do is go through all of its components and say, hey, component update, component update, component update, that sort of thing. So back to the, oh, well, I guess I could just do it right here. Uh, we need an update, add component, uh, void update. And this one's not going to be virtual because I don't intend entity to be inherited from. In fact, we should probably make entity abstract by declaring a pure virtual function. Well, you know, I've seen actually people inherit from entity that instead of containing an entity class. So may, say I make a ship class and they contain an entity. I've also seen people inherit entity and then do it that way. It's kind of up to you. Uh, void entity update 
like so, and then, man, these font changes are getting rough. For uint, I, do we have type defs in here? Pound include, uh, I think it was miscellaneous type defs. Thank you, IntelliSense, for coming back. For uint, I get zero. I less than, is it num components? Thought it was num components. Yeah, num components. Num components, what's it complaining about? Entity has no member update. Yeah, it does it put it right there. I plus plus, and then it's real easy. Hey, each component one by one, update. Okay, pretty straightforward there. So let's uh, let's build and see what the compiler is going to complain about. I'm sure we have several build errors. Holy smokes! Well, actually, that's not too bad. Linker errors. <laughs> well, again, linker errors are scary, but if you see linker errors, that means you're kind of getting close to the end. Uh, component pound include component CPP. That's right, because it's it's uh, is it entities? I think it's entities. Entities slash component H with the angle brackets. Good use of undefined type uh, entity right here. Entity, entity. That's right. We need a pound include entity here because again we forward declared it using just that class entity thing. So entities ent uh, entity slash entity dot h control l to cut that and i'm gonna paste it there just to somewhat maintain some alphabetical order even though that's not alphabetical <laughs> there we go alphabetical let's ask the compiler to do its job again what's this uh, left side must have again forward declarations here we're in compilation units so i'm okay pounding well we did pound include component what's your problem Component, let's F12 on that. Component, entities, component, component pointer, components left, must have a struct class union. Uh, let me right click on this and close all about this just to clear my head a little bit. I have component included. If I remember right, F12, I can't F12 on that, I have to open it like that. Entities. Component, component, entity, let's bring the header file back up, entity, component, what is your problem, parent, let's look, let's go on to the next error, cannot access private, I friended, oh, <laughs> oh. remember in component I said friend class entity, well I didn't say friend class render component, hmm, <sighs> Hmm. I could just make this public. I don't want to say friend class render component because then I have to say friend class every single component that you'd ever want to ever create. So that's bad. So I think in this case, I do want this private because I only want the entity to set it um, when we say add component. So I think what I'll do is say entity star get parent and const. I could also put a const out here, meaning the pointer's constant, and then I'd have to do a const cast when I set it, but, uh, all right. Get parent const, let's go over here, ooh, yeah, oh, we could in, uh, fine, I'll just do it up here, inline it, why not, get a return parent, all right, I might not be making the correct decisions here, we'll see. Uh, can access, yeah, so get parent, I say get parent, get parent position, build, translate, does not take a single argument, doesn't it take a position? Oh, I bet translate, oopsie, I brought up way too many, I hit F12 there to go to definition, but that brought up way too many, if we go to translate in our matrix to the H, I vaguely remember, yeah, it takes an X and a Y. Hmm, I'm tempted to make a translate, an overload that will take a VEC3. Let's do it. Inline, static, matrix, 2D, H, translate. 
const vector 3D reference position. And we have vector 3D included. Should do unit tests on this, but all I'm going to do is invoke this translate from this translate. Maybe we'll come back and do the unit tests. Go back to the inline file, go down to the bottom, get the errors out of the way. And where is our translate? Translate is right above scale. So right here. Matrix 2D H translate. And return translate position dot x position dot y. That's simply a syntactical convenience for us. We can just say translate to this position instead of having to pass the x and y explicitly every time. So that should probably take that should take care of that error. And that didn't solve the problem right here. I'm gonna pause the video, see if I can figure out what's going on here. Wow, I am so not intelligent. <laughs> it's late at night. Uh, if we go back to the entity class, components is an array of pointers. It's an array of pointers. Duh, it's a pointer. Ugh. All right, there we go. Build started. Linker errors. Loving it. Update. Add component. Okay, so this is the game. I believe this is the game. If I right click on engine and go to project only, build only engine, the engine's building just fine. So the game, when I try to build the game, uh, project only, build only sandbox game, that's when the linker errors come up. And that has to do again with the uh, exporting from a DLL so that the game can see it, so the game's linker can link to it. It's that lib file, DLL file discussion we had way back early in the in the playlist. So let's go here and say declaration, specification, DLL export. Make it visible outside the lib in the DLL so that we can link to it. And same thing here, declaration, specification, DLL export. Okay, build and see, see if that solves the problem. Looks like it created more problems. Renderer component, same problem. I forgot to do the render component. Render component. Declaration. Specification. DLL export. Build. What's the problem here? We'll just put it on the render component. That update is now exported. You know what? Let's build clean. Let's build the whole thing again. Okay, I got rid of the linker errors, and then uh, uh, since we have warnings turned on as errors, it's saying warning: entity position struct needs to have a DLL interface to be used by clients of class entity. Since we have a position here, that's right. Vector 3D. So this is kind of an interesting situation because Vector 3D, it's all inlined, 100% of it and and the compiler is complaining saying hey uh, if you want me to export this since you're exporting this you also need to allow me to export this but this thing's completely inlined I could probably turn off the warning and get away with it but I think probably just better to export this as well since it is exported declaration specification DLL export build build succeeded okay Whew. wow all right, in the next video, we're going to try to update our ship's position and see if the renderer will actually move the ship graphic along with the ship's position.